right? In this video, what I'm going to do is go over balancing a redox reaction in an acidic environment. And so the reaction that we have is elemental phosphorus, so P4, plus the nitrate ion, so NO3 minus, forms H2PO4 minus and NO gas. And so the way that you approach it first, you want to break out the two different half reactions. So uh, one of them is P4 forms H2PO4 minus. And then the other one I'm just going to write over here, and that's going to be NO3 minus forms NO gas. So first, let's just simply look at the, the phosphorus one. So the first step that you always want to do with these half reactions is you first want to balance all of the non-oxygen and non-hydrogen atom uh, um, elements in this case. So we can see on the reaction side, we have four phosphorus atoms. And then on the product side, we only have one. So we want to multiply the H2PO4 right by four so that way the, the phosphorus atoms are balanced the next step we want to do is we want to balance the oxygen atoms and the way that we do that is by adding water then to the appropriate sides so in this case right we have four times four so 16 oxygen atoms on the product side so that means that we're going to want to add 16 h2o molecules to the reactant side right so now we have 16 H2O molecules over here. So now the next step we want to do is we want to balance the hydrogen atoms. So what we can see is that we have a total of 32 hydrogen atoms now on the reactant side. But on the product side, what we have is 4 times 2, right? So we only have 8 hydrogen atoms in that case. And so to balance that out, what we need to do is we need to add um, an additional, right? So 32 minus 8, 24 um, H plus, right, protons in this case. So 24 H plus. So now that we've done that right there, the last thing we have to do is we have to now balance the charges, right? So we're, and we're gonna do that by adding electrons to the appropriate side. So if we look on the, the reactant side, right on the left side, there's no charge, right? H2O is neutral, P4 is neutral. If we look on the product side, right, what we have is four negative charges from the four H2PO4. Uh, molecules and then also 24 positive charges, right? 24 H plus from uh, um, from the protons in that case. And so the char there's a charge imbalance there, right? So we're not at the same number. So um, if we uh, you know balance need to balance that out, what we have is 24 H plus, and then we subtract out the 4 H minus, right? What we get is 20. So we'll have to add 20 electrons to the product side in this case right here. Um, and so that balances out the two sides, right? Because now we have a total of 24 negative charges and 24 positive charges on the right. So overall, that's neutral, right? And the reactant side is, is neutral as well. So we don't have to worry about that. And so now that half reaction is balanced. So now we can look at the nitrate system. So I'm just going to rewrite it down here. I'm going to just change the color real quick. So that way we can look at it differently, right? So I'm going to switch to blue. So it's the same approach, right? So first, we look at what we have. So we have NO3 minus is going to form NO. So now first we balance out all of the non-oxygen and hydrogen atoms. And so uh, there's one nitrogen, one nitrogen. So everything is balanced right there. Next, we try to balance out the oxygens by adding H2O. So we can see on the reactant side, we have three oxygen atoms. But on the product side, we only have one. So that means we have to add two H2O in this case right here. So we've added two H2O here. So now the oxygens are balanced. Next thing is now we have to balance out the hydrogens. And so on the reactant side, we have zero hydrogens. And then on the product side, we have four now. So we add four H plus to the reactants. And so then the final thing we do is we balance out the negative charges or the, the charges overall, right? So we can see here on the product side, right? Everything is neutral, but on the reactant side, we have four H plus and then one NO3 minus. And so there's a charge imbalance of three plus overall. So to neutralize that out, we just simply add in three electrons, right? So that right there is the half reaction for the conversion of nitrate into NO in an acidic environment. So now we have the two half reactions. All we have to do is just simply look at how many electrons we have overall for each one of them and make sure that we balance those then out, right? Because we want to balance out and cancel all of the electrons in that case so everything stays charge neutral. So we can see for the phosphorus related reaction that we have a total of 20 electrons being uh, produced. But in the case of the nitrate reaction, there's only three electrons required in that case. So there's an indifference there. And so to be able to have it be evened out, what we're going to have to do is multiply the nitrate reaction by 20 and multiply the phosphorus reaction by 3, right? And so if we do that, what we get is... 
right? So we have, and then we can add them together, right? So I'm just gonna add them together right now. That'll make it a lot easier. So let me just change that color right here. I'm going to change it to purple. So what we have, right, if we, if we multiply this side up here first, right, so we're gonna have a total of 48 H2O plus three P4, right? And then we can add up then the, the nitrate reactant side, right? So we're gonna have then a total of 60 electrons plus 80 protons plus 20 nitrates in that case. Right? And so that's all the reactions. And so now that we just simply do that same stuff to the to the products. And so on the product side, right, what we're gonna have is 12 H2PO4 minus plus 72 H plus plus 60 electrons plus 20 NO plus 40 H2O. Right, so now both of those are there. So now all we have to do is cancel it out, right, uh, um, on the product and reactant side to, to balance everything. So first things first, right, we can cancel out the electrons, right, we know that those balance out, so we have none on each side, right, all of that is nice, nicely balanced. Next, we're gonna look at 48H2O and 40H2O, right, so that means that we're gonna have eight H2O left on the reactant side, right, and all of them are gonna be essentially balanced out from the product side. The next thing that we wanna look at are gonna be then the H pluses, right? So we have 80 H plus on the, the reactant side and we have 72 H plus on the product side. So that means that all the 72 H plus on the product side are gonna be gone and we'll only be left with eight H plus on the reactant side. And so now that all of that is balanced out, right? What we can do is we can just simply put all of this into a single, uh, uh, more clean looking uh, equation, right? So we'll have then eight H2O plus three P4 plus 20 NO3 minus plus eight H plus. Sorry about my AC kicking on. And then for the products, right? We're gonna have 12 H2PO4 minus plus 20 NO, right? And then that right there is the full reaction, right? So everything is balanced out, all of the charges are balanced out. If we look at all of this, what we can see is that on the reactant side, right, we're gonna have 20 nitrates, right? So 20 negative charges and then eight uh, protons, so eight positive charges, so that'll have a total of essentially 20 negative charges. And then on the product side, right, the only negative charge is gonna be from the H2PO4 minus, and so there's 12 of those, so the charges are balanced. The next thing that we can look at and verify, right, is that in terms of the phosphorus atoms, right, so we have a total of 12 phosphorus atoms right here. And then over here, right, we have 12 phosphorus atoms, so that's balanced. The next thing that we can look at is the number of nitrogens, right, so we have 20 nitrogens right here, we have 20 nitrogens right here, so the nitrogen atoms are balanced. Next, right, we can look at the oxygen. So we have eight oxygens plus 20 times three, right? So that's now 68 oxygens in that case on the reactant side. And then on the product side, right, we have 12 times four plus 20, right? So that gives us another, sorry, 80 oxygens. And then finally, right, we can add up all the hydrogens. So we have 16 from the H2O and then another eight right here. So that gives us 24 hydrogens on the reactant side, and then over here, right, we have 12 times two, that's 24 hydrogens. So everything is balanced, and that's how you approach uh, writing out, uh, balancing a redox reaction in an acidic environment.